Bahar. Bahar. Wave. Sea. Bahar means sea. Sea. Okay. Loha. Loha. A sign. Some board. Sign board. Okay. Laham. Laham. Meat. Good. Bala. Bala. Red what? date. Red date. Mil. Mil salt. Timsa. Timsa crocodile. Good. What's the kalima besura? Join the word with the picture. Okay, so you need to join them. Oh no. Oh, oh no. So what is uh, the first picture? Timsa. Good. Timsa. Next. Sign. Uh, not the. Uh, not the. La. Loha. Loha. Mil. No. Mil. No. Huh? Bala. No. Laham. Laham. Good. So is mil. Mil. Good. And then bala. Red dead. Okay. Okay. Akmilil harfan nakis. Complete the missing letter. Hamar. Hamar. Himar. Himar. Laham. Good. Laham. Next. Timsa. Timsa. Next. Uh, his son. His son. Good. Bahar. Bahar. Good. Halib. Halib. Sa au khata. Correct or wrong. Could you go back to the vocabulary? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I'm done. Yes. So sa au khata. Correct or wrong. Okay. Hazahimar is uh is Himar is Sahi. Good. Translation. Donkey. This is a donkey. Okay. Haza Halib Hatar. Translation. It's Hazib, right? Is is this is a milk? Okay. Has he he lamhat lamha is just hold for a minute. BBC Sheikh Bute Khasi. So the picture card is he. It is Drega Laimia. Drega this near in a parent. They can Drega na kai. She is Sheikh Picture card. Dur Karsi. Drega kai kisi. What a Mishkin at the Lagia. This near in the Reka? Ashi Sheik, take a Reka Naga. Okay, now continue. Hazi he lawha is Sahi. Sahi, good. Meaning? This is a sign. Signboard. Next. 
Hazabalah is uh, is a uh, hatta. Good. Meaning. Bata is um bata is bala. Wait, what is bala is red dates. Go. This is red date. Okay. Okay. Mil. Uh, it's hatta. Good. Meaning. Mil is salt. Good. This is salt. So like we need to just change two of them. Yes. Is the me washing the sura? Listen and point to the picture. Okay. Halib. Halib. Yes. Halib. 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 What was the choices? Oh, it's gonna be milk. Yes, Halib is milk. Next, we have his son. His son is horse. Good. Laham. Laham is probably red dates. No, hmm? no, 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 not red dates. It's laham is meat. Meat. Good. Is the me washilin kalima listen and point to the word? Salt. Salt. Okay. Salt is milk. Good. Red First date. One. Red date is second. Good. Horse. Second. Good. Kawin Kalima. Make the word. Hamar. Himar. Meaning? Himar. Himar is a donkey. Good. Okay. Bahar? Wait. Bahar? Bah, bah, bah. Bahar is way. The sea. The sea. Okay. Bala is. Bala is um, a red date. Yes, red dates. Okay. That one is. Abi, uh, it's milk. Halib is milk, okay. Okay. Laham is um is a um, meat. Meat. Okay. If the real kalimata say I choose the correct word. That. Choose the third word. Yes. Third one. Okay. Yeah. Meaning? Himar. Uh, himar is a donkey. Good. <clears throat> Wait. Next. Uh, bah, bah, bah. The first one. Bahar, first one, okay. Laukala, <clears throat> it's probably um the wooden sign. Low, yes, the the wooden sign. Yeah. Next is me, me, me. Uh, the second one. Good. Meaning. Why they need to put a yeah. <laughs> yeah. Milk is um salt. Good. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> so ma mean what? Okay. What? Ma, ma what? What? What ma, cow? Yes, ma haza. What is this? Haza his ma. This is a horse. So in this way you will read and translate it. Okay. Okay. Read. Ma haza. Ma haza, haza sinan. He, he son. He son. Meaning. What, what is this? Uh, this is a horse. Good. <clears throat> Ma haza, 
Hazadimsa. What is this? This is a crocodile. Mahazihi. Hazihi Lauha. What is this? This is a wooden sign. In the above sentences, we were using the word Haza, but in this one, we are using Hazihi. Do you know why? Because uh, Haza is used for like animals and stuff. And this is also a stuff. No, this is uh, Haza, right? It's using for animals and yeah. And then the Hazihi is using for other stuff. That is not living. No. Haza is used for masculine words. Timsa and Isan are masculine words. Hazihi is used for feminine words, okay? So, mm -hmm. Loha is feminine word. Now, the question... Wooden sign. Sorry? Uh, it's a wooden sign. Okay. So, why this word Loha is considered as feminine and why these words are considered as masculine? Um, is it because of this thing? This Tamarbuta, ta. ta okay? Yeah, the ta, because it has red and this yeah. doesn't. Any word which has Tamarbuta is considered as feminine word, okay? Oh, so like last letter that is ta will be Hazi. Yes. Next. Oh, okay. Ma Hazi. Hazihi Bakara. What is this? What is this? This is a cow. Good. Insak. Now tell me the meaning of these words. He marked his, his donkey. Good. The second one is Halib is uh, milk. Yes. Horse. Uh, then C. C. Okay. C. And the lump is Laham. is meat. Good. Meat. Me. Then Bala is uh, the red dates. Meat is salt, I think. Mm. Yeah, it's salt. <laughs> Next, a dimsa is dimsa is crocodile. Yes. Oh, sheep. Wait, is that a yacht? Sorry. No, the that boat is a yacht, right? The yacht boat, the yacht ship. Yeah. No, this is different. Waalaikum salam. Just hold for a minute, okay? Can I hear you? Yeah. Who is this? Yacht. Hold for a minute, okay? Huh? Yacht. 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 Okay, now we'll continue. So last time, what you learned in Holy Quran? Do you remember? Huh? What did you huh? learn in Holy Quran last time? Uh, we uh, um we raided the thing, right? The 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 uh, hadith, right? 
Holy Quran. I am asking about Holy Quran, not Hadith. We learn about the uh, Tunnas and Tufala. So tell me what you learned last time. Last time we uh, practiced the Tunnas. Surah Falak, Surah Nal, we completed and did, did we start Surah Ikhlas? No. Okay, now recite it without looking at Holy Quran. Oh. What we learn in this okay? So start the transmission from here. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Say, O oh, Muhammad, sallam, he is Allah, the one. Allah, asamad, uh, Allah the self-sufficient master. Then, 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 whom all creatures need, he neither eats nor drinks. He begets not, nor, he, nor was he begotten. And there is none co-equal or comparable unto him. The first thing we learned here that Allah is only one. He does not have father, mother, son, wife, daughter, no one. He is one. There is no God except Allah, okay? This is the first thing. Okay. Then you learned that... Allah does not need anyone, does not need anything, but everyone needs Allah. Okay. Okay. He no okay. drink, no drink. What is he the no eat, thing? no drink. What is the second thing I told you? He no needs anyone, but we need him. <laughs> but everyone of us needs him. Then he be he not eat. Not he begets not, nor he was begotten. Do you know what is the meaning of begets? Begets means uh, begets. Begets. But. Begets mean giving but. Okay? Giving just, but, like, okay. just like your mother has given but to you. Similarly, okay. Every mother gave birth, uh, gives birth to his children. So that is called. Okay. 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 So this means he begets not, he does not give birth to anyone, not he was okay. begotten, which means he was also not given birth because he is a god. He, has, he does not have any father or mother. So God is free of all these humanly things. Okay. Okay. What is the meaning of beget? So, like, when, like, people give stuff to you. What? Like, people give us, uh, uh, give us something. Giving birth. Okay. Giving birth. Reproduction, you also, it is known as reproduction. Okay. okay. So beget mean giving birth. Do you know what is giving birth mean? Oh, giving birth. Oh, I thought you were saying but and I didn't understand. Okay. So when you don't. Uh -huh. mean, it, it was birth. birth. Yes. So what is the meaning of beget? The, this again. birth, right? Yes, this birth. This one. Yes. Correct. Oh, uh, uh, giving birth. Good. <laughs> then the fourth uh, thing you learned that there is no one equal to him, or even we can even we can compare anyone. Competitive. Okay. He is above all. No. Okay. So you learned four things here. Now you will tell me four 
things that you have learned here. Okay. Okay. He is uh, the one. Okay. He doesn't have dad, mom, anything. He's, okay. he's just one. He That's the one. second thing. This is the first thing, not second thing. He's on the, the second one. thing is he no drink or eat. He does not need anything, but everyone needs him. Yeah. And then... Then the third thing. Then the third thing is... He, he... The birth one, right? Yes. The birth one? Birth one. Okay. And does not eat. No, no, no one's equals as him. Okay, good. So these are the four things you learned here. Okay. Next okay. thing is uh, next surah is surah masad. So recite surah masad without looking at holy Quran. Again. Surah masad. This is the first. Masad. Thing. Yes. What again? What is Masad? This surah is called Surah Masad. Tabbat yada amila. Oh. Okay, I know. Abuza Balahi Mashaitan Yuri Bisalah Rahman Yuri. Tabbat yada abila habil watab. Ma akna and humal hu wa matasat. Sayasa na ranza tala habil wamra atuhu hamal tal hatab. Fiji diha habulum mim masad. So let's see what we learn here. Read this. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Perish the two hands of Abu Lahab, an uncle of the prophet, and perish he. Do you know what is okay. perish? Perish. Perish means perish meaning. Perish means. Uh, let me see. Perish, right, is tougher death. This is the meaning of perish. Die. Especially in a violent way. Violent or sudden way. Sudden. Okay. Verb. Okay. Then, then his wealth and his children will not benefit him. He will be burnt in a fire of blazing flames. And his wife too, who carries wood sounds of saddan, which she used to put on the way of Prophet Muhammad or used to slander him. In her neck is twisted robe of a masad palm fibre. Fiber. Fiber. Fibre. Okay. So here you learned about two persons. First person is Abu Lahab. And the uncle of the prophet. And the second and then Saddam. The wife of Abu Lahab. Okay. Okay. So these are the two persons. So what you learned that Abu Lahab is destroyed, will die suddenly. Okay. He will be in hell file. And his uh -huh. wife will be also punished. And okay. a rope will be in his neck. Okay. Hello. Because they used to do bad things, oppress the weak. And cause trouble okay. to them. that's why they will give this so like the person that uh, so like Prophet Muhammad went to that person who took Prophet Muhammad and then she always gets the milk from the goat, right? No, this is a different person. Oh. Okay. So is the uncle the person that took Prophet, and then there's another grandpa, and then take prophet next. Yes. Is it like that? Yes. Oh. So uncle's bad, but grandpa's good. 
Prophet Muhammad had many uncles. Some of them were good and some of them were bad. bad. This Abu Lahab is one of those who were bad. Bad. Abu Lahab. Yes. Then we have Surah Nasr. But first we need to practice. Izaja. Oh. The bird. Richard. Let's try this. Stop. Let's try this. Okay. Okay. I was the better from Russia. No, no, no. I'm just gonna have my hair here. Stop. But yeah, the Avila Habil Watab. Look. What is the meaning of this? Okay. Long. Long. So elongated. Tambat yada. Tambat yada. Abilah biwatab. Ma akdra anhu malhu wa ma kasab. Maluhu. Maluhu. Oh, that's my little one. Maluhu. Okay. Wama kasab. Next. Sayas lana. Sayas lana ranza talahab. Amda atuhu hamalatal hatab. Fiji diha habalum mim masad. Now we have. <laughs> yes, any question? Either. Huh. No. Okay. Then we have Surah Nasad. No. Recite Surah Nasad. Iraja, right? Yes. Okay. I will be the Rahman Shaitan. I am the Surah Rahman Rahim. Iraja, Anasullah, Yawfa. Waraytana sayar huru nafidi nillahi afwaja Wasabbih biham de rabbika wastafir hu Inna hu kana tawwaba Now come to the hadith Hadith What did you learn in the hadith last time? Hadith last time Let me think um, 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 so like, uh, they talk about the uh, prophet, uh, the angel Jibrail teaching prophet Muhammad uh, at night, and then and, uh, whatever, whatever you learn in the class, note it on your notebook. So that you remember it next time, okay? okay? So today, whatever we have learned in the Holy Quran, note it. Now we will learn some things from the Hadith. Note them on your notebook, okay? <clears throat> now, read this. Narrated Ibn Abbas Abu Sufyan bin Hab bin Hab made that informed me that do you know what is inform? Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, and do you know the Hercules? Hercules, no. <laughs> He's a very strong, powerful king. He was a very strong power uh, king of Roman cool. Empire. Do you Wait, know? Roman yes. Empire, I know, I know. Yes. I just mm -hmm. learned like I just learned like um uh one one or two months ago. Okay, so they, uh, her, they had many kings. Heracles. Heracles, yes, okay. They had many kings different time at the time of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. This was the Heracles. Okay. Is uh, was a powerful, strong king. Yes. Note it on your notebook as well. So 
so that you remember. Strong. Yes. King. In Roman Empire. Okay. Next. Okay. Okay, had sent a messenger to him while he had been accompanying panning a caravan from Quarish. Do you know what is called uh, caravan? Caravan is the thing that he that caravan is like ah uh, so like you know the ancient China, right? They use like the caravan to travel in the Silk Road. It's like a thing from stop robbers to steal the stuff, okay. like a wooden wagon that is so big, a wagon that is so big. Yes, just like something like that. Trade containers at that time they had trade caravans. Okay. Caravan, big wagon. Kurish. <laughs> big wagon. Okay. What is Kurish? Kurish. Um, Kurish. Name of tribe. Okay. Kurish is the name of tribe. Okay. Wait again. Name of tribe. Oh, T name of tribe. R I B E tribe. Do you know what is tribe? A uh, name of a group, something like that. A group name. of people living in a remote area. Okay. Name of tribe. Name of the tribe. <clears throat> The tribe, yeah, done, done. Okay. Next. Next one. They were merchants doing business in Sham, you know Syria, Palace. Sham, no. The name of the area, which include Syria, Palestine, Syria, Palestine Lebanon, Lebanon, Jordan. Is called Sham. Wait, so do I need to write it? Yes. Sham. Syria. Palestine. Oh, Lebanon. Lebanon and Jordan. Jordan, done. Okay. Next. Next. At the time when I lost the Central Sorry, I was um, had truce with Abu Sufyan and Quaresh infidels. So, do you know to truce? A uh, truce means mm, a truce, uh, T R U C E, right? Truce. Truce means a peace agreement in which two armies. An agreement between enemies. Yes, two enemies don't fight. To stop them. fighting or arguing, arguing, uh, arguing for a certain time. Yes, and do you know Abu Sufyan? Huh? Do you know Abu Sufyan? No. <laughs> Abu Sufyan was one of the uncles of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. I know it. I know the Abu. <laughs> hmm. Abu. And Abu Sufyan. Company name is Abu Sufyan. And at that time, he was the enemy of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. But later, okay. he embraced Islam. Okay. So, do I need to write that? You better write it. Okay. Abu, Abu Sufyan, yes. Sufyan was enemy with Prophet. But later he embraced Islam. Oh, I, I, I misspelled enemy. What am I doing? I, I spell enemy. 
enemy uh, Abu Sufyan was enemy of prophet prof how to spell prophet <laughs> f f right p r o p h e s oh yeah p h e t sorry p h e t on prophet muhammad yes mo h h a m d but he changed to be a muslim right yes later he changed to a muslim but he changed to to a muslim oh a lot of writings okay then <clears throat> quraish what is quraish in quraish is quraish quraish is quraish quraish i have told you few minutes ago and, uh quraish was was a name of tribe name of the tribe oh I, like, i think i know that but i forgot <laughs> okay infidels um infidels meaning meaning is infidels infidels uh, infidels right yes do you know what is infidel the one who denies that infidel is a person who does not believe in islam okay non muslim okay the non muslim okay and the person who denies the islam completely is called infidel okay so non muslim yes. okay next non muslim that is nice just that not nice non muslim that is not nice yes that Next. is not nice mm. okay then so abu sufyan as his companions went to her kids at ilya ju place lem ilya means jerusalem okay ilya means jerusalem jerusalem oh is it one of the prophet jerusalem no it is a different city oh ilya means uh, i need to write that okay ilya is jerusalem yes jerusalem okay next um well then Hercules called them in the court and he had all the senior roman dignitaries around him dignitaries. he called dig, uh, dignitaries um just like today, today we have ministers at that time they important had... people yes okay all right okay, the meaning a dig ne terries important people people p l e done okay uh he called for his translator who translating her first question said to them who amongst uh, you is closely related to that man who claims the, to be a prophet 
Abu Sufyan replied, I am the nearest relative to him among the group of close that bring him Abu Sufyan close to me and make his companions stand. Right. Behind him, or oh, behind him, Abu Sufyan added, Hercules told his translator to tell my companions that he wanted to put some questions to me regarding that man, the prophet, and that if I told a lie, then my companions should contradict me. Contradict me. Abu Sufyan added, By Allah, had I not been afraid of my companions, they Belling me a liar. I would not have spoken the truth about Prophet Wasallam. The first question he asked me, he asked me, uh, what is it? Uh, the first question he asked me about him was, what is his family status amongst you? I replied, he belongs to a noble family amongst us, Hercules, but further ask, has anybody else amongst you have ever claimed the same, i.e. to be a prophet? Before his claim, I replied, no. He asked, was, any more, he asked, was anybody amongst his ancestors a king? I replied, no. Hercules asked, do the nobles or the poor follow him? I replied, it's it is the poor who follow him. He said, are this fol his followers increasing or decreasing day by day? I reply, they are increasing. He then asked, does anybody amongst those, those embrace his religion become displeased and renounce the religion, re uh, religion afterwards? I replied, no. Heraclius uh, said, uh, have you... Uh, everyone, Hercules said, have you ever accused him of telling lies? Where is it? Uh, telling lies uh, before his claim to be a prophet. I replied, no. Hercules said, does he ever betray or, or prove tenderness to his confidence? I replied, no. Um, we are the truth with him, but we do not know what he will do in it. I could not find opportunity to say anything against him except that word. Hercules asked, have you ever had a fight with him? Is there any difficult word here? Um, uh, that, I will circle that word. Okay. I found it, I think. No, no. Uh, could you go down? Could you go down? No. Uh, down a little bit. Okay. I think I found it. Okay. This one. Okay. Treacherous. Treacherous means the one who betrays. The one who betrays. Betrays. Okay. Treacherous. Oh, let me erase that thing. E. Okay. Treacherous. Tre. Wait. Treacherous. 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 Is betrays. Betray. Okay. Betray. Okay. Next, any more difficult word? Um, let me see. Could you try? Wait. Uh, I think I found one. I I think I heard of it, but I don't know the meaning. Embrace. Embrace mean accept. Okay. Oh, embrace means accept. Okay. Let's see. We see that John is a Christian. And then we say John embraced Islam. This means he left Christianity and he accepted Islam as a religion. 
Oh, so first he was like a Christianity and then he changed into an Islam. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Okay, next uh -huh. let me delete that. Okay. Oh, uh, Herpet, I said, what does he order you to do? I said he tells us to worship Allah alone and not worship anything else. No, anything along with him. And to announce all that our ancestors had said, he orders us to pray, to speak the truth, to be chaste and keep, and to keep good relations with our kith and kin. What? Any difficult word here? Kiss kin. Kith and kin. Kith and kin mean close relatives. Like your cousin. Oh. Okay. Like your uncles, aunties. In your close related. Okay. okay. Close related. Okay. So remember all these things and we'll continue next time from here. Okay. Okay. I wrote two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven things already. Yes. Good. So try oh. to remember as much as possible, okay? Okay. Any question? No. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum assalamu wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu.